good getting internet. I think it's time to end the game, don't you? Um, somebody had asked whether I have kitty mugs. This is one of my kitty mugs. This is furry cat. It's just furry purry kitty. I only have two other cat mugs, if I remember correctly. And none of them are particularly special. Anyway, so I wanted to show you... I've leveled up. I've finished looting everything. I've leveled up. I have some items I want to show you. But first off, we're going to go Master Blaster. <laughs> um, that is up here, I think. And you... No, you're a healer. Which, admittedly, I'm thinking about picking up. Um, but I want a Master Healer if I'm going to pick anybody up. Uh, so you must be the one further down instead, like here. No, you're Water Expert. That's right. Blaster is the one that's... I'm, I'm on double speed, obviously. By the way, how are you doing? This is the Blaster one. Yep. Igor the Teacher, who's drooling and everything, and... No weapon today can match the power of the weapons from the Time of Wonders. I'm not sure any of those weapons exist anymore, but I can show you some tricks if you find one. Really, I'm not crazy! And you'll notice how much money I've lost. I've lost nearly a million um, from my peak, because I've leveled up to level 100. In fact, I've actually slightly higher than... I don't know why I keep moving. Um, I'm actually slightly higher than level 100 at the moment, because I went around, did all of my buffs, increased my maximum level from the well in Kriegspire, did the drakes in Kriegspire as a result, and, well, I can go back to normal speed, and as a result, three of my characters leveled up again. So, three of them are technically level 101, but I'm not going to bother leveling them again. So, Rexalia is here. Hello, Rexalia. So, long ago, I found an old weapon that fired sunlight and could kill almost anything I used it against. I killed so many dragons, it got to be a routine. I could shoot them out of the sky like big, slow ducks. You've seen me do that, so obviously that's totally the case. One day, it just stopped working and my career as a dragon slayer ended. If you bring me one, I'll show you how to use it right for 5,000 gold. Yeah, 5,000 gold's nothing for our party at this point. So... Let me show you some of the differences in our party. So, first off, um, we have some item differences. Uh, mostly things that are just increasing stats minorly. Like, I now have better boots of health. Uh, my helm still sucks, unfortunately. I'm still using Zeus. But now, she has Hera equipped. And the reason why she has, has Hera equipped is for the plus 50 spell points. I see Bukini in the background. Um... The plus 50 spell points is the only reason why she has Hera equipped. That and also I think it's funny that she has negative one intellect and four personality by default. But, um, he's got an amulet of health equipped. But both Regina and Matt now have Morgan equipped. So this shows you that you can get the same artifact multiple times. I end up looting the artifact later. Uh, the other major thing I wanted to show you for loot was... Where is it at? Do, 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 do. Oh, must be the belt. I finally found an item of power. It was immediately after I stopped recording the last video is when I found the belt of power. Um, yeah. Best item in the game for a belt. There's nothing better. The plus five level is giving a massive bonus to hit points and spell points, which is the reason why Ed is now over a thousand spell points. Um, really, all three of them are over a thousand spell points now. I've done a few tweaks on skills. Um, I haven't really found any other majorly awesome artifacts, which is not too surprising because, well, at this point in the game, plus spell points and plus hit points are pretty much all I need. Um, yeah. Oops. I probably could have replaced his armor with something else. I don't really need armor class. I actually goofed. Um, the enemies that we're fighting, none of them actually use anything but spell attacks, and all of their spell attacks are fire. So, fire resistance is all that matters. It's the reason why I've stripped off some of the resistances, so the resistances are a little bit lower, except for fire. 
Um, yeah. Not much else to say about that. So let's talk about the level ups. And you'll notice that Eileen has just slightly more skill. Oh, I forgot to spend that last one. Um, slightly more skill points in Blaster. Just a little bit. So I increased it by 24 ranks because, well, I'm going to be using Blaster for the rest of the game. No reason to increase Axe or Bow anymore. Um, increasing Plate doesn't do anything. Increasing Shield only gives AC, which is not useful. So it was basically Blaster and Bodybuilding. And, well, I really like seeing the plus 161 to hit that you've probably been staring at for a while. Um, on Ed, I've increased Dark Magic to 30, and I was wrong. You can actually increase it above 30 in this game. It must be Might Magic 7 that you can only do that, I guess. Um, everybody has Blaster 8 for reference. I made sure that everybody was a master. You don't really need to be. Just to be quite honest, I am have a high enough hit bonus. It doesn't really matter. Um, I threw whatever spell point eh, skill points ref left over into Meditation so that he has more spell points. Which is a good good plan. Um, I think I ended up leveling up body magic once or twice as well. Over to Regina. She's got light magic 30. Um, I finally made her a master of bodybuilding. So she actually has the proper amount of hit points now. And threw the extra points into bodybuilding and meditation. Fire magic is useless at this point of the game. Because every enemy that we will be fighting from here on out. Also known as every enemy left in the game is immune to fire. They just are. Mm, pardon me. So, there's not much of a reason to worry about that. Finally, Matt. I didn't quite have enough spell and skill points to get him up to 30 dark magic, so he's at 29, which is fine. Um, I think that was pretty much all I did was blaster and dark magic 29. I don't think I increased water magic even. So, yeah, that's about it. So, let's go beat the game. So, first off, we need Deloitte's Beacon, Recall Sweetwater. We're going to clear the stone first, and this is not going to take us very long to clear. Sweetwater is actually a very, fairly barren zone. You've even seen a good chunk of Sweetwater at this point. Everything's kind of just dead. So what I'm looking for are some devils. I'm going to stay flying the entire time because that's the safest way of handling devils. Or the Kregan, I should say. Uh, there's pretty much no loot in here. Nothing. Oh, that's right. There was something else I wanted to do first. Let me go do that now. Um, I want to drop my Scholar. There's no reason for the Scholar at this point. Because I will no longer be gaining loot. And experience doesn't matter. I'm done leveling up. Ended up at exactly level 100, except for three of them that actually leveled up to 101, but whatever. Um, so I leveled up in Blackshire, but I want a Master Healer because it's the only one, or it, it was either a Master Healer or one that increases resistances, but that's Water and Air Master. Um, master Healer is probably better in this regard. So yeah, Spell Master, I already have. That's a four points bonus on all spell skills. So really my 30 rank dark and light magic is actually 49 rank of each. So I, let's just say that I don't need to recast things anytime soon. Um, yeah, I've got a little over eight days remaining on my day of the gods. I think I'm fine. Yep, that's a duel. You're the Master Healer. Alright, oh, I need to fire. No, I already fired him. So, let's go ahead and take the Master Healer. I'm making jack squat worth of money at this point. Oh, I still had loot over here. Whoops. Well, I can no longer identify things, so I'm just going to go ahead and trade it in. Even though it might actually be useful. Oh well, doesn't matter. It was unenchanted anyway. So, as I was doing before my memory rudely interrupted me. Let's go recall Sweetwater. My kitties are a little upset right now. Zoom back over to where the bridge was. Hiding under the bridge is actually a good spot for me to hide at. Because devils can't hit me under a bridge. 
because they can cast Meteor Shower all they want if I'm not... If I'm not, if I'm covered by something, they can't hit me with a meteor shower. Just like I can't hit them with a meteor shower. Okay, they're all taken care of. Basically, all that's here are devils. There's no loot. There's no anything to speak of. Everything uses fire attacks. And... Yeah. You'll find some trash piles. I think they can randomly hold loot. I believe all of these fountains are poisonous. That's why I... Yep. Okay, poison. It's really kind of just a boring place, to be honest. There's no real dungeons here beyond the hive. I am going to do some science, though. One of the commenters in one of my videos had mentioned that... The Hive is the only place in the game that has a reset cycle of one week. Or the only dungeon in the game that has a reset cycle of one week. And I thought it was actually only one day. So I think at the end I'm going to do a little bit post-ending to find out if any of these are true. See what I mean by there's a whole lot of nut in here? I mean, Sweetwater itself is kind of demon-filled, which I'm taking care of right now. But honestly... They take a lot of damage from blasters. I really don't need to worry about them. I basically don't need to worry about much of anything at this point. Especially when I go in the hive, because... Well, I'll show you in a moment. Now, I'm curious about this well. I'm pretty sure it's poison. Yeah. I thought it was everything was poison. You'll see more of that one later. Um... That is actually an important location. Do, 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 do. Hive is just really boring. Or the sweet water. I kind of wish they would have done more. I understand why it's all desolate thematically. It's supposed to be this was this bustling area, vibrant and green, and now it's just all blighted and poisoned and death. But I've almost completely cleared out the hive. Or Sweetwater at this point. There's nothing here. Nope. I'm pretty sure it's cleared out other than the hive area. Go up to the northern part, hit the edge of the map. That's the hive. We'll be going up there, don't worry. I should go at normal speed. That would make more sense. Don't worry, I'll be going back down to handle the rest. I just want to make sure everything's dead. I mean, I'm even taking meteor swarms to the face and not being harmed. It's kind of what happens here. I don't know if I've ever actually cleared this zone before. reason why this is difficult is that they can fly and I can't fly up that high. I can fly up a little high but not as high as they can. No devils drop any loot. No devils really do much of anything, to be honest. Just walk out already. They're just boring. 
I really don't like the end of Might Magic 6 for reference, if you couldn't tell. I really like the middle parts of the game the best. Stupid Devil Masters. I'm being annoying. Again, I'm not even bothering to heal. This is just not hard. I've got one enemy left on the entire map. We are done with the entire outdoors. There's nothing left here. See you poison? Yep, that's what I thought. Again, everything outside's poison. So, here's an interesting fact. Oh, I can do it here, okay. Well, I guess it's not that interesting after all. Ugh. Uh, Darkmoor, sure. So, the hive has an interesting feature. Namely, I can't enter it. Why are you not letting me enter? Okay. Um, it has an interesting feature. The moment you walk into the hive, you can no longer use Lloyd's Beacon or Town Portal. It's the only place in the game like this. So, watch. Alright. What? That... That's not the way that's supposed to work. Maybe it's walking inside a little bit further? You're not supposed to be able to use Town Portal. Anyway, this is the hive. There's a spell scroll here. I have no idea what the hell it is. I also don't know what that is. And welcome to the hive. I'm doing this a lot more aggressively than I would normally do. I would normally try to lure them and so on, but look at how many hit points I have. I'm taking huge fireballs and incinerates and so on to the face. And I'm still in green. Sure, let's go ahead and cure poison. Oh, it might have been disease. Yeah, it was disease. Uh, the main thing is Devil Masters are actually extremely easy when you're indoors. And the reason for that is that they keep trying to cast Meteor Swarm, and since you can't cast Meteor Swarm indoors, nothing happens. Let's go ahead and move back so I can actually fight the rest of these devils. Such a disappointing final area. Alright. Finally killed them all. So, you'll notice that on the bottom it said flush activated. The hive system flushes itself perpetually, filling everything with, I think it's supposed to be hydrochloric acid or something like that. But basically, you have to step on these protected spots in order to not take damage from it. We don't have to care. I'm just going to fully heal everybody up, because why not? Alright. So. We've got several routes that we can go. We should stand on here until the flush system's done. Am I seriously still able to... Why can I town portal here? That doesn't make sense. Ah, it's Lloyd's Beacon that I can't do, not town portal. This door won't budge, and the reason why is that you have to open things up everywhere else first. It's a very linear dungeon. You can earn that. I wouldn't say very linear. It's a linear dungeon. Because you need to hit certain things. Make it work. The only enemies in this dungeon... Or devils of some variety. Oh. Meh. There's loot. You can have some useless money. And yeah, my followers are currently taking 70% of my income. So it's really useless. 
Anyway, this loops all the way back around to here again. And that door that wouldn't budge, this was right next to it. There are one-way doors, so you can't re-enter in any other way. Go down to the next one. Hi. You'll notice that the decor here is very similar to Control Center. That's because Control Center and the Hive are both supposed to be spaceships. Oh, just die already. Uh, you're stuck in a wall. That's a problem. Oh, no, you're not actually stuck in a wall. I mean, I think at this point the game designers got a bit lazy. It's unfortunate. Flush system's active. Wait for it to deactivate. There we go. And nothing else here. Also, this dungeon design is very similar to the dungeon we were at way back in the beginning of the game. Um, this dungeon, strangely enough, is very similar to Goblin Watch. Just die, please. So the creatures, how dare you stop me. Or attempt to stop me and fail horribly because I am way better than you are at this point. Okay, got that. Hey, look, there's stuff here. No idea what it is. Loot here is kind of useless. Let's say you have plus 17 electric resistance. So this increases your accuracy by 25? Yeah, accuracy plus 25. That is actually better than what I would have had, so sure. Go wear that unenchanted helm. And your boots. Boots of intellect plus 24. Okay. That's why I came. So you could still do ID item like that because there's nothing in this game that is actually cursed. You can always unequip things. And relics are obvious because they say the word relic on it. That's an amulet. And Hive Sanctum Key. That's actually what we were looking for. Um, what's this amulet do? So I'm comparing with plus 50 hit points and luck. Um, amulet of gold. Okay. Shield. Oh, it's an old shield. Plus 10 everything. Ugh, that makes it annoying to figure out. Um, oh, it's a shield of fire resistance. Not terrible, but I've got better. Okay. Let's go to the next path. This is probably going to be a relatively short video, is my guess. apparently. Totally looks like there should be something there, but oh well. Obviously isn't. Ah, flush systems activated. I'm going to take some damage. Unless if, there we go. <sighs> ah, my eyes feel like they're burning slightly. It's a little late and I've been really sleepy. Hmm.
I don't know the purpose of this. It's kind of like they meant to put a treasure chest in there and didn't. Anyway, what we're actually doing is pressing all of those buttons and switches. I don't know. You are a ring. Your ring is 15, endurance 10, 5 armor. Ring of luck, plus 19. Okay, don't care. Although luck is actually a useful stat at this point. In fact, it's the only useful stat. Plus system active, and it teleported me back to the entrance. That's not where I wanted to be. Let's go back down there. Zoom! Yes, Bukini. I know it's getting late. But I wanted to finish this tonight because I need to make sure your room's clean. I have a visitor coming in with his cat. So I wanted to make sure everything was clean. And this is a keg. It's a keg of healing. In case if you needed assistance in, you know, doing anything in here, you can heal up in here. Since you can't Lloyd's Beacon in here for some reason that I don't understand. Alright, this loops all the way back around to this door. Most I'm even in green. This is really not a difficult place. Down there is actually where I need to go. But let's go down to the last spot because I said I was going to make sure that I clear out every dungeon in this game. So this actually loops back around to the entrance. Just didn't know if there were enemies here. There weren't. Once more, one way door. This this dungeon really likes their one way doors for some reason. Okay, loop better around here. This door won't budge. That doesn't make much sense. Am I doing this one backwards? Certainly possible. I don't know. I can't learn. I can't learn that. Well, something elemental. with somebody who doesn't have enchanted armor. Plus 10 hit points. And plus 10 endurance. That might be just plus 10 endurance. Or 10 endurance, 10 hit points, and there's a third stat that usually goes along with that, right? Endurance, hit points, and armor? Was it? Whatever. Worst one I have. You still won't budge. Hopefully I can figure out what opens that door because I don't want to leave enemies here. I must purge in wrath of all forms of life that oppose me, of course. And this pops me up back here. at this point who has the key you have the key why is this not opening I don't remember this being a problem before it's there entrance there I must have missed one of the levers somewhere well, this was going to be a very short video. Now, apparently not. I really haven't missed anything in this room. Damn it, I keep doing that. Zoom, zoom, zoom. 
Definitely hit that already. Can't hit it again. That was a treasure chest. That's an empty alcove. This is the one that teleported me, right? Right. Also, apparently that triggers the switch or the flush system, which, okay. That's hit points. This just brings me back. This is not this path. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I'll just recast it here. And zoom back. Wee. This isn't a puzzle dungeon, I swear. Just wanted to make sure. You've already been hit. Already looted that. I'm only halfway through this dungeon. Or three quarters, maybe? This loops around. Wait, wasn't the hive glitched in some way? Like with this patch? That's just a chest. I wanna say there was some weird glitch with the hive. I'm trying to remember what it was. So I have to enter and exit again or something like that? I mean, that's one way of doing it. Kind of skipped part of the hive doing it that way, unfortunately. This is the way back up. Okay, so I, at least I got that door open. I still have that one door in the hive I can't get into, which is gonna bother me. I'll go ahead and deal with the rest of this. Hi, devils. Bye, devils. Open the side. Maybe. Kind of. Door's locked. Well, I have a key. I think this might be the ending area, which I'm going to loop back. That was freaky. Yep, that's the ending area. Yes. Not going there yet, because that's kind of a one-way trip, and I have one room I need to go through, dang it. I promised that I would get everything, and there's one area I can't open. Why 
why can't I open this one door? Let me double check really fast. I seem to remember there was something weird about the hive. Saying anything. Hmm. It's gonna bother me. Dang it. Seeing anything. Okay, let's try this. Recall sweet water. Will you budge now? So that's what my memory is basically saying, is that it was something dumb like having to enter... No. Why? Arg. I'm just not going to worry about it. I hit this switch already. Which, this was a switch that apparently I was supposed to open up the grating for reference. Which the grating doesn't really open. Oh, forget it. Well, something will live through my adventure. Three demons. They don't provide that much XP anyway. You can fall through the grates. Run through here. Go over here. All right. Are you ready? This is the reactor. So it had 1300 hit points. Has 60. It's dead. Congratulations. This is the Demon Queen. Technically, all you have to do is get around and hit the exit. Also, you notice everything got dispelled? Kind of dumb that way. Now, I want to do this. Great. We are our powering. Demon Queen had 1300 hit points for reference. We are going to take a protection. Attack. Attack. Day of the gods. I mean, we're not going to have increased level or anything, but... Demon is dead. Kill all the rest of the demons in here. Devils. Notice I'm taking a lot more damage and actually getting dispelled and so on the difference between level 100 and level 130 apparently plus an extra 50 doll stats and so on right. oh i can loot the reactor i don't know if i've ever tried well hey jump Okay. OK. 
Okay, so I think I can leave the Ritual of the Void here and trigger weird stuff. All right, final FMV. It's opening up. Explosions. More explosions. Boom. And... This is what happens when you don't read the instruction manual. Because I did not have the Ritual of the Void with me. That's why I left it behind there. The destruction of the alien reactor has resulted in the death of every devil in the kingdom. Unfortunately, the strange technologies used to build the reactor caused a chain reaction that has consumed the world. Perhaps re this reaction would have been prevented had you escaped the hive with the Ritual of the Void as the Oracle suggested. This game's not nice when it comes to that. So, let's go pick back up that Ritual of the Void. And now I'll show you the real ending. It's very similar to start. There's more, everything opens up. But in this case. And basically it vacuums everything in that tower. Which somehow you survive. Oh yeah, the repeated animations, gotta love it. That's the brat, by the way. For heroism and valor in the service of the realm, I the knight. Congratulations, you're all knights, even though one of them was a knight class already. Rise, heroes. And all only one of my characters had plate mail. And yes, so thank you, heroes. Thank you for saving my kingdom for me. <laughs> and that is Archibald Iron Fist. So, congratulations, Eileen, the level 100 champion, Ed, the level 105 high priest, Regina, the level 100 archmage, and Matt, the level 100 archmage. Your valiant, valiant efforts and heroic deeds have saved the kingdom from the scourge of devils and fanatical conspirators. With the fall of their alien masters, the priests of the Temple of Ba scattered to the wind, leaving their followers to wonder at their absence, and the rest of Enroth to rejoice the restoration of peace and order. Time saving Enroth? Zero years, four months, 22 days. Your score is 156,416. Your score is based off of how much time that you spent and also how what your fame was, how many quests that you completed, and so on. Um, basically, it's fame divided by time spent. Uh, so if you want truly high scores, you need to speed run the game. That's the way it works. Anyway, uh, it saves the final image in that file. It's a PCX file. Such classic. And then you are brought back to New Serpical. You are only honorable, though. Um, Experience-wise, you can train up to level 102. Almost level 103. That's really close. Um, so, something I wanted... Uh, there's a couple of things I wanted to check at the end, like I had mentioned. Also, I accidentally had OBS open in a different tab. Uh, wrong character. Time, 3.21 a.m. Uh, heal party. Oh, it's not giving me spell points. That's sad. Here, have at least a small amount of spell points because you're the one that has Lloyd's Beacon, Recall, Seawater. It's Wednesday. Hey, can't re-enter the hive. Um, let's load my quick save and escape. Oh, that triggered that anyway. Well, I guess we're seeing the FMV again because I can't actually stop the FMV without just alt f -oring. I now have the Ritual of the Void with me, so that means Zinroth blows up again. Good job, me. A+. Plus. <sighs> Let this FMV run through again. Boom.
and the moon just because. I'm still trying to figure out what chain reaction would have caused that to happen, but whatever. Anyway, so quick save two. Hand portal? Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna alt F4 at this time and relaunch. Doesn't exactly take that long to launch. Um, reload from my prep save, which is not particularly where I want to reload at either, is it? Uh, dang it. I can't science this anymore. That stinks. Okay, you know what? Just reload from the autosave and I'm going to rest until Sunday. There's one other thing I want to do. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. So, one thing that we haven't really done... I did not mean to do that. Let's try that again, this time without overwriting my Lloyd's Beacon for... In fact, I'm just going to go there now without overwriting my Beacon at Castle Iron Fist, because that's not what I wanted to do at all. I'm going to go to the arena, and I'm going to fight once. Then I have one more special thing at the end, and that's it. And then we will stop my episode 42. Oh, yeah, that's right. Gone. Rent the room. Pretty sure it's Sunday at least, right? Let me check to make sure it's not Saturday and my memory's failing me. I'm almost certain it's Sunday. Yep, it's Sunday. Okay, you notice that we're not prepping or anything? There's a good reason for that. Uh, it's not that it's not difficult, in fact. The arena at maximum level, at level 100, is very difficult. The main thing is, is that you arrive via travel and you can't escape out of here. So any spells that you cast have to be while you're in the arena. So that means no well of plus 30 levels, no plus 50 at every stat, but you can cast all of your awesome spells still. Okay. Arena Master, we are going to do Lord based arena. And you'll notice everything are gold dragons. Also, this technically counts as an indoor map, so I can't fly. And they can, and everything's gonna be broken. You notice I'm actually very heavily damaged at this point. You also got a chance to see the whole, I don't know what this is, but I can repair it and then tell you. Oh, your plus five level broke. Wow. Re-equip blaster rifle, re-equip plus five level. Pass that over. Pass your rings over. I really like the music of this game. And then your everything is broken. Okay. Well, everything is unbroken. 
God damn it. I'm trying to heal you. Oh, that's right. I actually have that. I keep forgetting. Okay. I can hide back here temporarily so I can repair stuff again. By the way, nothing in the arena drops loot, so you'll notice nothing happens. So the whole moving in um, not quite straight line thing still applies a little bit, but since I'm on the ground, I move slow enough where I can still get hit by these enemies, unfortunately. All right, somebody has a broken weapon. In this case, it doesn't matter as much. And a broken bow. Oh, that's right. I changed up a couple of the bows with stat increasing bows instead because, well, what else am I going to do with them? Right character. Your crown is broken, your ring is broken. As good as new. And boots just broke. As good as new. And yeah, I know the daggers are broken. I'm not paying attention to that really. Okay, you had more things break. It's fixed. Your boots broke again. Fixed. Oops, wrong character. Nothing I can do. As good as new. I mean, honestly, these rings of magic don't really need to be repaired immediately. Yep, I hear that arrow. One more. And that's it. Um, you do get experience for this. So you notice everybody's leveled up again. And you can talk back to the Arena Master, collect Arena Reward, and you get money. In this case, I got 52,500 gold, minus everybody else's reward, and then you have to head back. And it brings you back on the same day, back to Castle Iron Fist. Uh, let's see, something else I wanted to try. So I had heard a rumor that you could repeatedly use the healer in here. That rumor appears to be incorrect. Okay, that's good to know. Anyway, we're done. I hope you've enjoyed the series. Uh... Might Magic 6 is one of my favorite games. It's just, there's a lot of flaws with it. And the end is really weak in my mind. It's kind of like they rushed the end. Uh, Seven's probably my favorite of the series. If only because the opening of it is awesome. And the mini game of Might Magic 7 is one of my favorite mini games. I actually still play it today. Um, oh, I haven't shown my shirt. It is dragons surrounded by dice. Smart. Mirror image, hard to picture. Yes, little kitty, you want to be at the end? I'm sure they would love kitty cat at the end. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. So, hope you've enjoyed this. I will see you another time. Um, this is only going up in a few days, so it's not very long. Um, I'm going to be fiddling around with things for a little bit. 
not sure exactly what yet. I'm not expecting to start Might Magic 7 until at least another couple of weeks, if not longer. Yeah. Goodbye, Internet. I will see you some other time.